All right, it's basic economics, right? With increased demand comes a strain on supply. The same goes for at-home COVID-19 tests here in the tri-state. With COVID cases rising and school back in session, the take-home COVID tests are becoming increasingly popular, especially for parents. WCPO 9 News reporter Whitney Miller visited one unlikely supplier that's having trouble keeping the test kits stocked. Yeah, the library is known for books, of course, but it's also known for having a lot of resources. And one of those lately is highly sought after an at home COVID-19 test. So we were giving out quite a bit of it and then it and then it kind of slowed down. Ned Hegerbrim is talking about the need for COVID-19 at home tests back in March. There's been a recent uptick in the last couple weeks and it just went crazy this past week. Hundreds of tests out the window of his Grosbeck branch in just a day. We've been out since Friday, but we just got our shipment in today. He believes a rise in Delta variant cases and a number of other reasons explains why so many people are cleaning out their free supply. I've had some people say that it's um, like kids going back to school. They figure they're going to have to get tests for um, when there's an exposure in school. I think it is a lot of people going back to work and people visiting people in nursing homes and things like that. Car after car, parents lining up. I'm getting them for my kids to go back to school. It's why Erlene Robinson wanted them for her grandchildren. It's precautionary to, to make sure that they're not going to be, you know, affecting other people. In each box, two simple items, an easy test to take. But how effective is it? Go up into the nose about an inch, um, so it's not painful. And it's pretty effective. Like I said, the effectiveness of people with symptoms is about 95%. But you have to follow the rules on the box and you need a computer with a camera so you can communicate with a proctor who will help you administer the test online. Rose Temple, a nurse practitioner and director of health services at NKU, says you shouldn't take the test unless you're feeling COVID-19 symptoms. So now that headache, nasal congestion and sore throat seem to be more common of what we see presenting with the Delta variant versus initially it was fever, cough, things like that. And if you're not comfortable taking the test at home, you can still find several pharmacies around that can administer the test for you. In Grosbeck, Whitney Miller, WCPO 9 News.